What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mans back again to give you guys some facts and fire like I always do. Anyways, I'm gonna do something different today. I'm gonna give you guys something not like the traditional stuff that I give you. I'm gonna give you guys some cons on full sale. Okay, so let me just give a disclaimer real quick. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to demean the school's name or make the school seem like it's not as amazing as it is. I've learned some crazy stuff from the school. I've Man, I've done some crazy stuff. I don't think I would have got to the level that I'm at now and know the things I know now to apply to future stuff if I didn't come to the school. So, of course, you know, the good I always add like crazy. But, again, there is no yin without yang. I'm going to give you guys some of the cons and where I feel like as if Full Sail could kind of do a little more to provide for the student. These cons I did not just come up with on my lonesome. I had a couple of students help me out and they really... They really kind of voiced their opinion and they went in. A lot of them did not want to be behind cameras, so I told them, okay, cool. I'll be the voice of us all and I will say what needs to be said. Without further ado, let me give you guys the cons of Full Sail University from the perspective of a music production major. Because I, I know for a fact I did not ask anybody outside of the degree program of music production. Okay, so the first con on this list is Full Sail shows off all of their beautiful state-of-the-art studios, but students do not get enough time in there. At least all the students I spoke to, even myself included, we do not feel like as if we get enough time. Being music production students, the career program we're getting into, it takes a lot of experience. It takes a lot of trial and error, and you don't get too much of that just being in your own little home studio. So being in a top tier studio, being able to work with good equipment, with an actual teacher behind you, making sure you do everything right, or just there to answer questions whenever you need to like learn something, that's something that we feel like we lack and we don't get enough time with. So. That right there is con number one. Because the first thing I really saw was a behind the scenes tour and they showed me these amazing studios and I was like, ooh boy, this is about to be something new. So just missing that and lacking that is a kind of a lot of students really wish that we can, we can change in any way, shape or form. And granted, I'm not saying that these studios should be open 24 seven. It takes a lot of money to keep a studio open and operational, but create more time slots make it readily available for the students who really want to be in there really want to learn and really want to get that experience because not everyone's blessed enough to get that internship and really work closely to an actual producer in the field or just actually working with real gear so that's dope oh and and big thing big thing big thing big thing big thing a lot of people don't understand a lot of coming into the game producers don't understand i only know this because i did my research and i read but producers they really set the tone in studios producers they really are the make it or break it points. Of course, the talent has to show up and they have to do what they gotta do, but producers get the best out of everybody in the studio. So if you don't have the experience doing that, you could probably mess up sessions just trying to like do that whole concept of being a producer, but you're not getting the best out of people. You get that practice, oh my God, repetition, and just being in the studio regularly, you know how to move around in that and you, you body it at that point. Okay, so this brings me up to the next con, which is huge, and this, and this stirred up crazy discussion with all the students. So the next con is the lack of practice rooms. So here's the story. My sister, she goes to a private school up north. I'm in PA. We talk at Albright. Shout out to the bright everybody over there. I love y'all right in Pennsylvania. So she goes there and the school has a very, very solid art program. Their drama program is, is top tier. I was, in a, I was in that for a little bit. What I'm saying here, that's not their bread and butter. Their bread and butter is business. So getting to that school and getting out with a business degree, you usually have an advantage over competition because you went to the school and it's known more so for that. And with that being said, why does a primarily business school have four well-equipped practice rooms with four upright pianos and space enough for you to bring a different instrument and actually practice in it? One of the biggest things that brought me to this school was Leslie Brathaway, because everybody knows I, I started in recording arts, but now I'm in music production. But Leslie Brathaway has mixed stuff for Michael Jackson, Pharrell, Justin Timberlake, those are three idols right there that 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 when I heard that and I heard how closely he worked with them and how he came from this school, it just blew my mind. It was like, whoa! They have a crazy amount of tools for the recording arts students. But for the music production students, I don't feel like there's, again, there's people that aren't lucky enough to have a home studio set up. Like, luckily, I have a 45 key MIDI that I can go over here and I can practice. I have about four octaves of actual piano to play and practice here in my house, I can actually have 
fun practices in here. This is really for the kids who aren't lucky enough to have something like this at home or lucky enough to have a home studio. This is honestly a luxury that I kind of didn't really understand until like I broke it down. Like some kids cannot practice and getting practice rooms will allow the students who really want to be great actually get the chance to because man like practice makes perfect it really does like you you gotta practice in repetition in this game that's the only way you get good at things and you want to probably practice your piano your producer you want to make sure all your chords are down pat you want to make sure stuff works you don't you don't want to kind of keep guessing in your head and think you had the whole thing down pat you want to practice it out perfect it guaranteed that will make for so much better producers coming out of full sale and not only will recording art get that get that buzz so will music production like just is that that it's just that initial investment in so that is con number two con number three and the final con that i have for this because i don't really feel like there's too many cons with this school i i say it flat out like i i scanned through and even everything that the kids said to me i don't feel like there's too many cons i feel like as if the school really kind of takes care of a lot of things and it puts you in better position than you would have been like not going to the school so the last con that i feel deeply with because it's something that i've been trying to talk about for the longest and I'm going to try to find an immediate change to is the diversification of all of the degree programs. I do not feel as if the degree programs get enough time to actually network with other degree programs. So with that being said, I've been around Orlando, especially like at the end of the year, last year and a little bit in this year. And I've seen a lot of places do this one thing that they call meetups. So what a meetup is, is you basically show up to a running venue, maybe might need to do like a little cover charge just to kind of help pay for like the venue, whatever. But you're meeting up with people that are just creatives in the city. So like let's say other artists, let's say producers, let's say photographers, videographers, graphic designers. Every year you're, you're meeting up with every Folsom doesn't really necessarily have a straightforward meetup. It's like if we have something that we could go through like like at least you know twice a month we can connect with different students on different degree programs that will make for a stronger community so much stronger community and at that people will have more opportunities and if you oh man if you theme these these meetups like and themed it behind certain either certain ideas or certain things that people could create and just brought more people together man that will make for the most amazing mixtures a lot of people they're trying to figure out their way over the hump of actually networking and figuring out who should i connect with or would i actually work with these people and then some people they connect and they don't even make the right people and then like the wrong connections are made but if you give them more opportunities to make connections the pieces could come together and like i said this will be a strong community and community is king you make a crazy good community a lot more people are going to want to be a part of it which means more growth which means more success ultimately so like i said these are the cons of full sale only had three because the school takes care of a lot of stuff and the school is just just amazing i i, I say that with everything i got inside of me like i do not believe i would be as driven as i am now if i didn't have the force of this school going through but like i said there ain't no yang without yang so anyways if you guys like this video please smack that like button or or if you don't want to be violent you can just click the like button below and if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them below but to get them answered quicker quicker or the quickest way possible the link to my instagram is in the description below go follow me first then hit me with a dm and i'll respond to you within that hour i put on this i i crossed my heart thank you guys for checking out the video and for helping me get past 700 subscribers Yes, yes, I know I was tripping. I acted like as if I couldn't get a thousand within the end of 2018. And I already eclipsed 700 and I can't believe it. I'm still going crazy. You guys are the greatest. You guys helped me to get there. Now let's try to reach 800 and a thousand and all this stuff and all the other good stuff. Anyways, thank you guys again and peace. About to finish up some homework, so.